So what is going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here. Welcome back to some more custom zombie maps. Today we're playing a really, really OG one. This one is probably like one of the first 30 maps ever made for this game. And we're kicking off the kind of Halloween theme on my channel for this week with Nazi Zombie Saw. So this is based off the Saw films, as you may have guessed. And this is very reminiscent of when uh, people get kind of chained up in the bathroom section. This is... Very, very awesome. X marks a spot there and face your fears written out in blood. It's very, very creepy and it's very, very good for a zombies map. So this is like, like I mentioned, because it's OG, it's literally only got the four original perks from World at War. Look, there's a guy there. Whoa, what happened to him? Looks like he just collapsed dead. Loads of blood pouring out everywhere. Poor soul. Oh no, Jigsaw's about to start his game. No, my friend, we need to beat Jigsaw in this. But if you enjoy this, do let me know down below in the comments section. If you've seen the Saw films, let me know what was your like favourite film and what part specifically. Because like in the Saw films, there's like a group of people and they all end up dying in some way, shape or form. And they're quite imaginative in the little traps that Jigsaw sets out for them. If you've got any personal favourites, let me know in the comments section. Uh, that'd be awesome. If you know how to, you could possibly link a scene as well. If that's on YouTube. I'll give those a little bit of a watch. Because it's been a while since I've seen a Saw film. I haven't seen all of the Saw films either. I've seen like a, a handful, but not all of them. Oh god, we've got a little infestation of zombies here. But like I said, OG, we only got the four perks. The f uh, World at War guns in the box. Wow, we got crawlers already on round two. I can't believe that. Yeah, but uh, I've done a quick playthrough of this, and I lasted five minutes. And you know why? It's because I got the flamethrower out of the box. Now, when people call it the lag thrower, they really do call it the lag thrower. So much so that the lag, right, made my game freeze. I shot it for about five seconds, and my game froze. So, lesson learned. If you're playing on PC, don't pick up that flamethrower on this map, because it will mess your game up. Messed it right up. But yeah. Also, what I've got coming over to the channel over the next few days is I've also got, very, very excitingly, Halo the Master Chief Collection. I managed to get a code yesterday from Microsoft. I really, really appreciate that. And uh, I've been given um, permission to upload a mission from each Halo game, so 1, 2, 3, and 4. So I want to ask you guys, if you are fans of Halo, let me know, because I know I posted some multiplayer footage uh, around about a month or so ago. And that went down very, very well. I was really surprised at the response from that. So there is a Halo audience within my audience, which is amazing because uh, Halo is a fantastic game. And I was thinking of posting Halo 2 or Halo 3. So if you guys are Halo fans and you want to see either Halo 2 or 3, send me a tweet with which one you want to see. Um, with Halo 2, I can show you the, the level uh, Grave Mind, which is like 40 minutes long. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to cut it down a little bit. But um, the other map, uh, the other map, the level from Halo 3 is Sierra 117, which is just the uh, opening level. Uh, not too much uh, difference with Halo 3, just upscale 1080p. But uh, Halo 2, oh my goodness, it looks One freaking amazing. Here we got the Magnum. I'm going to shoot some people in the Magnum now. Can we open this? I mean, I was trying to think, because um, I don't really know where else to go from here. Like, that looks horrible. I'd hate to be chained up in that. It looks really, really horrid. And this obviously used to be a window, but it's like not a window anymore. It's uh, been concreted off. So now we've got the... Whoa! What? Did you see that? Did you see it just fly back like that? Get ourselves the max ammo. Why not? We're going to have no zombies spawning in here, which is great. Yeah, so OG, we don't even have like a kill count or um, how many zombies are left or anything like that. But yeah, I'm very, very excited because Advanced Warfare is so, so close. And I've got so many videos planned for you guys. Uh, my channel is going to be very, very busy over the next week or so. Got Halo, which I do want to post. I'm allowed to stream it as well. Allowed to stream those campaign missions. Um, I also have some multiplayer gameplay near a launch, which is going to be ridiculous of Halo. And also, like I said, Advanced Warfare. And also, I have Sunset Overdrive. And I feel bad because I've had it around about two weeks or so and um, I really wanted to make a video but time just caught up on me and I didn't manage to get a video sorted out on that game before the actual game came out oh here we go sweet but if there's anything you want to see from Sunset Overdrive do let me know uh, they do have a co-op mode called Chaos Squad 
I think that's quite interesting, actually. So uh, if you want me to take a look at that, hell yeah. Going to have a lot of variety on this channel over the next few weeks, which is going to be freaking awesome. Like, right now, it's just, like, the best time for a YouTuber to be a gaming YouTuber. Because there's just so much going on. So many games coming out. Whoa. Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve life. That is really, really dark, actually. Oh, shit. All right, so we're in a massive room here. Don't open the door. How? Whoa. God, no. I don't know. I don't know if I should do that. Because it, it, it doesn't cost... My games have just begun, and we got some weird paintings here. Uh, do I want to? I'm gonna do it. Oh God, no! The rules were simple. You're choking me. No way. Is that it? How do I get out? Now you're trapped. Oh, no way, I'm trapped for 90 seconds. I bet you the zombies are gonna be piling in. Oh my God! No way! Oh shit! What? Oh my god, okay, we'll be back. We're not opening that door, that's for sure. Alright guys, so I'm back, and there's no way in hell I'm opening that door again. That is evil as hell. No way are we doing that. But we've got a nice open room here, so that's it actually leads us down there if we open that door. So definitely don't open that door. We've got, we've got a debris there. I, it looks like there's another debris here, yeah, 1250, and then also the X. But you've got to remember, on... On, at the start of the map, it said X marks a spot. So we are going to buy X. Plus, in maths, they tell you to find X, right? And you usually just say, it's on the board there. You've written X. So when you're trying to find X, we haven't found the value of X, but we found X. So you tell that to your maths teachers, they'll understand what I'm talking about. Maybe somewhat. But like, look at the detailing in the backgrounds. Like... OG like zombie maps like this, they don't have a lot, but what they do have is a lot of just eerie atmosphere, and that's something that the OG maps have, which the new ones don't necessarily capture as well, because you just got all these kind of really like bland brown grey colours, which normally I don't like, but when you're associating it with like this, zombies, like horror, creepiness, it works very, very well. Yeah, I thought I couldn't shoot through that, I was wondering that. So we've got no pack a punch on this whatsoever. Uh, we've got no, we've got no melee weapons either. It's completely OG. If some, if someone was to remake this map, it'd be pretty awesome, right? Let's open this X. Where does X open? Whoa. Okay. That surprised me. I was like, whoa. Didn't expect it to be like that big of a long haul. Right, we've got some zombies that kind of just stand outside the map, not really doing anything. So I'm not going to complain if they don't want to come up to me. I'll just uh, leave them alone. Oh, we've got ourselves a drop. What's that? It's a Maximo. Right, let's head through this. Let's see what's going on. What does this say? The only cure is death itself. I don't like the sound of that. But there's a guy that's there to prove that death really is there. And we got ourselves the power. Didn't actually, like, say turn the power on, but, uh... There it is, and this looks very weird. So we've got an electric barrier there. We've got the MP40, which can never go wrong with that. But I want to go back to the box, because I bought this Thompson off the wall, and I fancy getting myself a different weapon. But then I, and, but, and then I won't be able to afford a debris, but it's fine, because I'll just buy... I'll, I'll be able to afford it by that time. Right, let's see what we've got. No flamethrower, please. Please don't crash my game for a second time. Please, please, please. Hmm. Not great, PCRS is not what we want, but it might end up for some funny clips. Ah. So look, you see the textures. Just imagine, right? Imagine this, right? I I'm gonna picture something in your mind which is gonna make you, make you jizz, okay? So picture next gen Treyarch zombies, right? Yeah, yeah. I like, just looking at the zombie there, even though World at War is a little bit outdated, it still looks pretty good. But imagine next-gen zombies. Like, oh my goodness. I can't even fathom. It's going to be ridiculous. It's going to be so, so exciting. I can't wait. Absolutely, positively can't wait. 
But for those, if because uh, I do get some tweets asking what sort of um, what version I'm going to be getting Advanced Warfare on for what console. Uh, I was, I think I'm going to be getting the Day Zero on a uh, Xbox One. But I will try my. I will probably get a season pass as well. I mean, if you get the Atlas Pro Edition Limited, I, I mean, there's two Atlas editions. One of them has season pass, one without. If you get on that, I'm very jelly of you because those are pretty awesome, nice little editions. But I've just found when I, I always seem to buy the limited editions of Call of Duties, and then uh, I always find myself just putting the collector's stuff that comes with it in like the back room, and I just never touch it. It's kind of like, as much as I do want it, for the added bonuses and like physical items, I, I never end up using them. But I do wish I got the Modern Warfare 2 one, because that had uh, night vision goggles. And that is so freaking cool. You can actually look like you're in the game with night vision goggles. Right, I do need to get myself some Thompson ammo, because uh, I don't want to be relying on my PTRS. Right, we can we can open both debris, but we're not, we ain't going to do that. We just need to find some jug. I don't know if this, I don't think this has a Bible ending. I don't think Bible endings even existed when this map was first built. We're going to take the left, because that guy looks like Hitler in the painting. Up some stairs. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's lucky we have 2,000. This just looks so messed up. But, hey, we got ourselves the PPSH 2,000 there. We are so getting that. So this is made by Vendetta. Like an OG map. Look, it's so OG. You don't even get points from the perks. Oh no. That's when you know something is old. But oh my god, what? So basically, this is based off Varuk. So if you guys played Varuk. Oh my god, and in Varuk, they have uh, sprinters. It's only specific to that map, I think. And uh, as you can see, it makes the zombies run really, really fast. Like, that's just a normal run. Then when you see them, like, I'll, I'll point it out. Because we've just killed two that have it, but. It's ridiculous. So far, so good. Nope. Also, none have spawned out the, none have come out the windows here. It's almost, it's almost too weird. It's only round seven. So anything can happen. It's anyone's game at this point. See, there you go. There's the... Oh, my goodness. If you get caught up on one of those things, you are doomed. It's game over. Ooh, double points. How many more zombies are there, though? Looks like there's just the one. Oh, no. Screw it. I was going to have to get it anyway. See, so old, you don't even hear double points. It's just nothingness. Die already! Thank you very much. Thank you, fa, 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 thank you very much. Right, let's get rid of this PTRS. Almost tempted to spin the box, actually, but when you have something as beastly as a PTRS right at you, you know you got to take it. But yeah, also, there's no dogs. Farouk didn't have dogs. It was Shino Numa that introduced dogs, so we're all good on that front, but good old PBSH, man. Oh! Oh, we finally have visitors. Not anymore, my friends. I don't know why. Maybe it's because we opened it mid-round. I don't even know if we did open it mid-round. <gasps> nah, man. Baruch Sprinters. No, thank you. You can tell th those are going to be the first that pop up because they're going to be running faster than the rest of the zombies. So We can expect you. I've been expecting you, Baruch Runners. But anyway. PP time. I think it's time to wreck. Eddie Moore. You were running at me? Oh crap. So I think it's time. We are... Well, okay, mate. Mate. I know you want to be in the video, but don't run at me that fast. Right. Oh. Oh. Don't use the key. Salvation. Oh god, no. When stuff like this pops up, it makes me really want to do it. Press F to use the key. No, that looks like a trap in itself. Nah. Jigsaw, I know you better. I know you. Yeah, I'm not falling for your stuff. Foolish little plans, my friend. Oh, God. Look at this. Oh, shoot. We have the browning there. How much is this? The heck? Maybe that key might be uh, useful. I'm just so scared that at this point I use it and... Um... Trying to think, right? Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. 
Go ahead and take that. Alright, now that zombie is like slow and stuff, I do feel like the worst it's going to do is... What? No way! Oh my goodness! Saw so Jigsaw, you're a troll! We'll be right back in a second. Why, you little... Alrighty guys, I'm back. It is round nine. And it turns out there really isn't anything else in this map. Once you get to here... I think that is literally it. You're inside here forever, and uh, Jigsaw really has got you by the skin of your teeth. There's some interesting stuff here. There is no jug on this map. We just have double tap, quick revive, which is absolutely pointless because it's not going to revive me. Oh, nuke, let's get that. Why not? Going to see how long we can survive for in this map. But this is more simplistic than I thought. We have ourselves um, a, well, a troll door, obviously, you saw right there. We're not... We are not, I repeat, not opening the key or looking for the key or whatever. That is strictly not going to happen. That is forbidden. don't even know why we're in here. This is pretty, pretty dangerous place to be. Kind of looking around. Is there anything else in here? We've got this weird spinning log. Not many people can say that. A weird spinning log. We also have a room which has the, uh, like, prison, almost like metal iron door. But we can't open it, I don't think. It's got some weird code on it, but I honestly don't think we can open it. Um, I think it was up here, actually, although I... Mm, so, don't open that. We learned that the hard way. Do not, but here we go. Here we go. We need a... It's like a timer or like a code or something, but we don't have the time. Or the code. I don't even think there is a code for that, so we are really screwed. But we do have a browning. Yep, browning, but it costs a heck of a lot. So I think Jigsaw really has got us this time. We are literally screwed. There is nowhere we can run, nowhere we can hide. We are absolutely doomed in here. So it's all about a question of survival. Oh my god, really? I can't hop down there. Oh god, I've screwed myself over already. Oh god, that was close. Right, take my goo off. Mm -mm. I think, where's the PPSH? It's uh, in this room over here. I almost feel really, really heroic for doing that little uh, little comeback there. That was awesome. Honestly, didn't think I was going to make it. It was a very tight squeeze. That's what she said. Right, how much do you have? I'm pretty sure it's like 1,000. Yep, there we go. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Alright, see, so is there anything else that maybe we can get a little gathering of this map? Anything else Jigsaw's left behind for us to uh, stumble ourselves upon? Wait. Kind of wish I didn't buy the uh, PP hour now. Anyone else want to challenge me? Sounds. I can't picture where it's coming from, so I'm just going to grab it anyway. Kill him with my goo up. What are you saying? But it's going to be a real slow one. I hate the zombies we can hear them, but you can't see them. Come on. Come on. Come to Papa. Right, let's head back down here. Let's spin the box, see if we can get anything. If it's a lag thrower, we're out of here. But I do think that is literally all there is in this map. It's a very this small map. Uh, very atmospheric. It's a shame that there wasn't much more added. Because, you know, it's, it's sore. It's pretty cool. X marks the spot. It weren't lying. Hmm. So we've got a little boot there. Got obviously the body just lying there. Let's play a game. Oh, you could say Samantha and Jigsaw worked together on this one. Arguably they could have. But no jug is a real kind of annoyance. Alright, so this zombie was stuck. But it's, it's fine now. It's fine. Alright, so I know if we open the door, we get put in there. I don't know if I want to if I want to try that, you know. I might just like make a crawler and survive in there cuz something's got to happen after we do that, surely. Surely something's got to happen after we do that cuz it says survive for 90 seconds then you get out. It's almost like a kind of mini game. Can you survive? Well, yeah, of course I can. Just I didn't expect it to bounce on my head. That's the only problem. Let's actually get out the FG42. Whoa, crap. Jeez, that was so close. Damn you zombies for trolling me and just standing still like that. 
the nuke, we're not going to get it because we're going to get ourselves some points. With the double points. Get double the fun. Whoa! Oh, that one's just running away. GG. I think that one still ran upstairs. Alright, I think it's time. If it's not, then oh, the rules were simple. Come on. Come at me, bros. So we're like just above the stairs right now. Imagine if after 90 seconds, it didn't bring us back. This is really, really horrible. <laughs> Help me. I'm stuck. 90 seconds is a hell of a long time, though, if you think about it. Right, that zombie just died out. Don't know why they're not going for me right now. It's quite cozy, you know. This isn't... This is... I think it's up the stairs, or it's either below the door. This has been quite a pleasant little trip. <laughs> down into here. Oh, God, no. Please let us out. No! Alright, so all the zombies couldn't find us, so they died out. But that means round 12 is going to be ridiculous. Come at me. Come at me, zombies. I'm waiting for you. I'm a waiting. But yeah, like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you've got any more Halloweenish maps that you want me to play, do let me know, and I will give them a go. I've played some others, like Crystal Lake is another really good Halloween map. Oh, crap. Are you serious? Where did he come from? Alright, we simply can't last on Saw. I made it to 12 rounds. If you can get any higher, then do let me know. I'm sure I could, but you can't survive in there. Did you guys hear that? Alright, yeah. Jigsaw trolled us well and truly. But thank you so much for joining me on this video. Halloween special. There'll be some more Halloween themed maps as we go on. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, drop a like rating. I'll catch you guys very, very soon for some more awesome videos.